Weather portion of Ag Week now. Labor Day weekend for a lot of America. Seems like the transition in toward the fall season begins. But weather-wise, we're still kind of in a summery pattern, but there are elements of fall. This past week, absolute torrents of rain fell in portions of Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin. We'll take a look at that. Uh, scattered storms still in the forecast. It doesn't suddenly turn to September and it quits being stormy. Uh, and we also still have some warm weather over many areas of the United States that will impact the stormy season. This is a look at rainfall over the second half of the month of August. And see the legend, The anything yellow, there's been at least two inches. Anything in the red, there's been at least five inches of rain. Now this is about a two week period. And the, the pink purple stuff, that's 10 inches of rain. And of course, there was that incredible rain that fell in Wisconsin this past week, but really over much of Iowa, uh, into Illinois, southern Minnesota, there's been a great deal of rainfall. What had been at times a modestly dry summer has now turned quite distinctly wet. And with current weather pattern, there will still be storms from time to time. When the jet stream goes southwest to northeast, that does tend to be a wet pattern, and there will be several opportunities this week for additional rain and storm conditions across the upper Midwest, focused on the Great Lakes down and through Iowa, less so down into the southeastern states. We'll likely see a few rainy periods go across the northern plains as well. And as we move into the second week of September, I don't really see a significant change. So probably above average weather in many areas in terms of moisture, especially over the northern parts of the Corn Belt. And it will remain fair fairly warm. Now with this jet stream buckling along the west coast, there will be some times where we get a little shot of cool into the northern plains. That's not likely to stay that way that long, and we will generally have normal to above normal temperatures over most areas of the eastern United States.